So what is an Arduino? An Arduino is a prototyping board made by the company Arduino that today is actually divided between Arduino and Genuino. So what is the difference? The difference is that Genuino sells in the US and Arduino sells in the rest of the world, but they are exactly the same products, but with different names. So the so-called Arduino is a board that can come in different shapes and sizes and with different functions. There are several models of Arduino, but all of them come with a microcontroller and the difference between them will be in, for example, number of outputs and inputs, if they come with uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth built-in, a more powerful processor, and so on. We have several models of Arduino, but the most common one, or the famous one, is the Arduino Uno, but we have the Arduino Mega, the Arduino Leonardo, Micro, Pro Micro, Lilypad, and so on. And each one will be better on something, or they'll just be the cheapest one that can do whatever you want. So what is a microcontroller? A microcontroller is something that handles all the computing of the Arduino, or it's the brain. It handles the, the RAM and the memory and controls the inputs and outputs. And it is surrounded by other things that will be different in different models of the Arduinos. But what does an Arduino do? The Arduino connects the physical world with the digital world. You can connect a variety of sensors in the Arduino and then you can program your Arduino for the sensors do what you want. So for example, you can control something in your computer as a digital audio workstation or you can connect things in the outputs of the Arduino and you can control, for example, LEDs or motors. So you can use sensors to control the outputs or you can use sensors to control something in the computer as a digital audio workstation or you can use your computer to control the outputs of an Arduino. For example, using MIDI from your computer to control LED lights or motors. And how do you control the Arduino? How do you program your Arduino? The Arduino has an IDE where you can use a C based code that can be uploaded to the Arduino through the USB port. The Arduino Uno has 14 digital inputs and outputs and 6 analog inputs. But what is the difference between analog and digital? The digital is one when you just have two states like on and off or 0 and 1, pressed or not pressed while the analog inputs have a minimum and a maximum and a lot of numbers between those values. So what about an example? This MIDI controller has buttons and potentiometers. The buttons just have yes or no, on and off, and potentiometers have a variety of values that can be read by the Arduino's ports. So, buttons will be connected in the digital ports, while potentiometers will be connected in the analog ports. In the analog ports, you can connect, for example, potentiometers, slide potentiometers, or infrared sensors, ultrasonic sensors, which are distance sensors. You can even connect a temperature sensor or anything like that and transform this into MIDI data, which is pretty awesome. Something really nice about the Arduino is that it is open source in its hardware and software. And it means that it's open for you to copy it, modify it, and even sell it legally. So actually, you can embed the Arduino circuit in your own board, make your own circuit, and even sell your products with the Arduino microcontroller using the Arduino IDE to program your controller. And because it's open source, a lot of companies, mainly in China, make their own versions of the Arduino much cheaper. So you can buy the original ones to support the company and for them to make new models and still develop the, the boards, but you can also buy really cheaper versions that will work in the same way, so this way you can save money. So as you can see, the Arduino can open a really new world if you want to start to become a maker. This way you can start building your own equipment, your own MIDI controllers, 
the way you want with your own identity and for a much cheaper price. But actually, how do you build this? It's what I'm gonna talk in the next video. So if you wanna get started to build your own MIDI controller, I'm gonna leave a, a link below in the description so you can buy the products that you need, like the Arduino, breadboard, and a couple components, so you can start building the first prototype of your MIDI controller. If you liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive much more related content. So if you'd like to keep watching this free course, just subscribe in the link below. So now tell me what you want to build. Don't forget to tell me in the comments below. So see you next class.